Hey beauties, today I'm gonna to be talking about sleeping through the night, which is a topic that I have seen a lot of questions about and comments in our different surveys. So I'm always listening to you guys and I wanna give some tips about how to sleep through the night, which is really important for our overall health. Um, let me just touch on that quickly. We know that, of course, Eating is very important, our nutrition, our exercise, but sleep is a really vital aspect of wellness. Um, it's when our cells rejuvenate, it's when even our brain detoxifies itself and it helps to balance our hormones, our whole system functions better when we sleep better, of course. And so what I've seen in the comments from you guys is um, just a lot of you saying to me that it's hard to sleep consistently through the night. So there's a couple of things about that. Um, the first is setting us, ourselves up before we go to bed. Um, I will say, you know, I've talked about this before, the, the idea of the evening routine is important physically. It's also important mentally, um, just to really relax the mind. The mind is always going, and so if there's things that are creating anxiety or you know, unfinished work or you know really stressful conversation we had before bed or a disturbing television show, it could wake us up, it could jar us um, for the night, it could create some, or contribute to some intense dreams. So we just wanna have that nice, really calm period before we go to bed, just to start to really calm down, and I think that's really important. Um, I also love, you know, the evening elixirs and the warm hep milk. We, will, we wanna make sure, ideally, to finish those up an hour and a half before we get to sleep, or at least an hour. We don't wanna, um, be waking up constantly in the night to pee to have to go to the bathroom um, So we want to try and really taper off so we have time to go to the bathroom um, And not be woken up consistently which can be really disruptive another thing which you guys know of course is alcohol Of course, you know sometimes we want to have a treat and indulge from time to time But it does wake us up. It does disrupt our sleep. We know that um, for sure and so um, <laughs> we want to make sure Bubby is here next to me. Um, you know, we just choose consciously when we do want to drink, knowing that it is going to affect our sleep. Another um, few things which have shown, have been proven to be really great for helping us maintain sleep once we get into it is, first of all, having our temperature. This is very important. I've noticed it, this for myself. If our temper, temperature fluctuates, we can wake up here and there. So we want to keep it nice and cool, cooler than we might usually be comfortable, but we're underneath the blankets and to keep it steady through the night so that it doesn't, um, again, go up and down, which could wake us up. So if we can hit the set button on our um, on our temperature dials, that's really helpful. Um, also making it totally dark is really helpful. Even if we are asleep and there's little blinky lights, they can affect the quality of our sleep. So we can always just get some black tape, cover up the blinky lights, take electronics out of our room when we can, put our phone in airplane mode just to cut down on the radiation and the noises and the beams that are coming into us um, during the night. It's really helpful. And white noise is also really great. When I'm traveling, I was staying in a hotel um, a couple nights ago. I stayed there in the hotel after I put Bubby to bed and I was speaking in the morning. I had a speaking engagement. And this hotel room was so loud. There was people in the hallways coming back from partying. There was blinky lights. I did my best to cover everything up and I put a white noise app on my phone and it really helped and I stayed sleeping. So the little noises, little things that we can really cut back on um, can really add up. And like I mentioned before, the whole routine, like calming the mind, meditation, can be really, really helpful for helping us sleep through the night and getting into that nice, um, deep, deep, restful sleep. So there's a lot more articles I have on KimberlySnyder.com on sleep, on sleep food. There's also the whole um, sleep section, which is pillar three in Radical Beauty. If you guys are interested.